Good morning, everybody. Um, this morning, I wanted to read a folk tale called The Lost Horse. This is a story from China, and it's illustrated by Ed Young and also retold by Ed Young. So he did both the words and the pictures, but from a traditional story. This is the title page. The title page is pretty interesting in this book. Um, you have a regular title page over here, and then on this side facing it, you have the story that we're going to read in English, all written out in um, Chinese characters. And um, I love Chinese characters. I find them really beautiful and interesting, and you might want to look kind of closely at them. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I lived in China for a year, and I tried to learn some characters, but I only learned a few. Um, I lived there right after I graduated from college. Okay, so here's the story. The Lost Horse, a Chinese folktale retold by Ed Young. In northern China, there once lived a wise man called Sai. There he is on his horse. He had few possessions, but owned a horse that was both strong and fast. You can see there are a bunch of people admiring his horse. One day, a violent thunderstorm struck the land. Terrified, the horse escaped into the night. One by one, the people came to comfort Sai for his loss. You know, it may not be such a bad thing, he told them. I bet they were surprised by that. To the people's surprise, the horse returned a few days later with a mare, equally fast and strong. When the people came to congratulate Sai on his good fortune, he replied, perhaps it is not such a good thing. The next month, Sai's son decided to take the mare for a ride. The horse threw him and he broke his leg. When people came to console Sai, again, he said, it could be, this is not such a bad thing. Later that year, hostile nomads invaded China's northern border. All able-bodied men took up arms to defend their home. Though peace followed, many did not return. Because of his injury, Sai's son was spared. Sai's son had learned from his father to trust in the ever-changing fortunes of life. Together, for all the days that followed, Sai and his son lived in harmony. So that's the whole story. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's kind of interesting to think about how something that could seem bad might turn out to be good or something that seems good might not turn out to be so good. Um, sometimes that does happen in life. Okay. All right. I'll see you all soon.